founder and the CPO of CIV Drone. They're doing a very interesting solution for construction site. He's going to talk about that. So, and just going to plug you in. Is there like a non Hebrew speaker here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, hey everyone, so my name is Leah Muller, I'm one of the co-founders of Cibdrone. Uh, quickly about myself, I'm a civil engineer in my profession, uh, also my other co-founder, and this is why this product is aimed for the construction industry, this is where we're coming from, and all the rest is being done by our brilliant uh, engineers. So, Cibdrone, um, probably all familiar with those people on the side of the road, wearing the vest, holding this tripod, no one knows what they do. They call the land surveyors. One of the the main uh, work, the main task in construction, is showing us the different contractors where should we build. So let's say I want to build a house. Someone has to show me the four points of the corners of the area. Or let's go for a bigger project. If it's a road, someone will have to put a pin after pin on the ground to show me the exact path of the, of the road. So people do it by hand using a uh, GPS, they walk around, they find a coordinate, two centimeters accuracy, they put a peg or a stake, we call it, on the ground, they, they scribble something about it, on it with a marker, usually it's the task that needs to be done around there, and they go to the next point. I'll give an example, in Port of Haifa, they're building it right now, uh, there were 16 people in the peak time uh, doing the same thing for three years. So this is why this task is responsible for 1% of the entire cost of a project. So that's a lot of money if we'll take, for example, a 300 million shekels uh, road project, which is not that big compared to the world. 1% out of it goes just for putting stakes in the ground. Uh, I'll go quickly. It's very obvious since it's an old-fashioned way to do stuff. It's inefficient. So, um, and also I was asked to talk about a bit about the process we did as a startup. We are quite a young startup, a year and a half only, with only one year of R&D. Uh, so I want to share with you uh, the steps that we did until today. So, we started with something that we, that we call it uh, a POP, Proof of Principle. We want to show people that we maybe we can mark with a drone, use it as a, as a robot. This was the concept, not just flying with a camera anymore, just do more tasks with it. So we started with a spray, no accuracy because as we know it's flying on a normal GPS, the same one as we have on the phone, and we need two centimeters accuracy, I'm reminding you. So this was the first thing. Then we showed it to different contractors. We went out uh, out of the office, how they call it, and uh, and we asked the different contractors, what do you think about it? And then they told us, okay, it's nice, but after two days it will disappear. We need something more physical, like the same stakes we use today. This was the second, uh, this was already the, the second prototype, which as you can see, we took a drone uh, and we installed uh, a drilling mechanism on it. The thing here, we didn't add enough accuracy but the purpose of this prototype was to prove people that you can put stake in the ground with a drone. No one believed us, they, saw, they told us the physics won't work, the drone will turn over and stuff like that. So in this, uh, in this stage, it was almost a year ago, we were able to penetrate different uh, soils. One, this one is uh, almost the last la layer of, uh, of a road, which is very uh, compact and, and dense one. And for today, this is after a year of uh, Okay, this is a video we made for uh, raising some money. Uh, let's, let's watch it quickly. Work. Okay. <coughs> So 
So as you can see, we transformed the entire process from putting the stakes until uh, writing the information on it, and we moved it into a digital uh, solution. So this is a vision, this is a 3D model, it's not real. Let's go to the real thing. Okay, so this uh, video was shot, in, uh, was shot a few <coughs> months ago. Um, what we did here, uh, because all the technology is based on accuracy, we, we marked a cross, red cross on the ground, you'll see it very soon. Then we measured the coordinates of this point and we input it to the drone to check the accuracy. So as you can see, everything, everything is it's not autonomous as people described here before, but everything is automated. Uh, we just input the, drone, the coordinates and that's it. bullseye so it's exactly that way um, so like Sagi from Perceptor mentioned before that ch the big challenge of landing a drone in high accuracy is right it took us almost a half a year to be able to land about 10 centimeters radius out of the point now then once you land it you shut down the engines all the, the uh, wind turbines they stop then we can start reading with use, we are using RTK it's like advanced GPS more accurate one and then you can start taking the readings so we know where we are, we know where we need to go, this is why we needed to create this robotic mechanism to compensate uh, this gap. Um, yep. it, it's a 25 kilo drone, uh, usually people ask about it, and it can fly up to 35 minutes. Okay, so in, in, that, in that drone we have only one stake. Already today we have a magazine, I don't I didn't see who asked, but we have a, a, ten, a, a magazine with 10 stakes and we aim to up to 30 stakes by the end of the year. And we, and yes, but uh, half of the time we on the ground, we don't fly. So it's like we are able to do uh, 40 stakes in 30 minutes. That's, that's what we aim for while we're using this kind of drones. And also next year, one of the goals is to we have a few goals. One of them is uh, to challenge with uh, very more dense soils and hard soils. Second, landing on, on inclines, which is something that wasn't done until today. I think it's the biggest challenge you're going to have. And the third thing is to move to hybrid drones. Uh, for people who are not familiar with hybrid drones, those are drones that are running on engine, but uh, running with electric uh, systems, so balance. So out of time, um, yeah, and this a quick ago on the verticals that's uh, suitable for us. Solar fields is how many points need to be marked. Turbines, pipelines, roads, railroads, and ports. This is before, this is after. Basically every big yeah, infrastructure product. And uh, we should add more time, but thank you. Very, very cool. I, I, I'm sorry that, that we have to we have only five minutes for for so many interesting projects. Um, uh, yeah, what, we have a lot of talks. Um, Sergey.